Yo, what's up everybody? This is Dayton from Killing on Kennels again. And what you guys are going to see today is a breeding that we got going on over here at the Killinois camp out of our boy, Killinois Kennels Stacks, and our girl, Killinois Kennels Prada. This breeding went down a while back. The puppies are here. And you know what we're going to do is right here is we're going to show you some video of Stacks. We're going to show you a little video of Prada. We're going to break down their pedigrees and you know give you a little bit of information on the pedigrees behind these puppies if you guys are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos and after you guys get done watching this one make sure you guys go check out some of our other videos we got a lot of real nice american bully content on this channel again this is going to be the father of the puppies that are going to be available our boy killinoy kennel stacks he's a real badass extreme american bully boys put together really nice he's got a real big head real big shoulders big bone just an all around badass dog like you guys see over here at the killinois camp this season a lot of our females came in the heat at the same exact time so we have quite a few litters on the ground over here at the killinois camp and you know we're going to be dropping all those this week so make sure you guys stay tuned for that like I've told you guys in the past before, we're a real big team over here. You know, it's not just the Dayton show. We got plenty of members, plenty of people that play their part in all the stuff you guys see on this channel. So I just want to put that out there for you guys. And I want to send a huge shout out to all of our members, all these guys that put in all this work and, you know, what helps make Killinois Kennels what it is today. We got members that have a couple dogs. We have members that don't have any dogs, you know? So everybody plays their role, whether it's, you know, breeding, whether it's having, you know, a litter of uh, puppies, or, you know, whether it's just somebody that helps promote our kennel, you know, comes to the shows with us, helps us out with building our facilities, any of that type of stuff, man. Like I said, we have members that don't even have dogs and the Killinois camp is a real big crew over here. And again, big shout out to all you guys. Another person I wanna shout out, somebody that I don't shout out enough on this channel, one of the hardest working people we have over here at the Killinois camp. And that's my girl, Mrs. Killinois, Alana. Big shout out to her because she puts in more work than anybody over here. Now we're going to go ahead and break down Stax's pedigree a little bit. We're going to start off with his father on the left there, the fawn boy. That's Muscle Tone Bully's Mr. Bean. That's Stax's father. And that tri boy on the right, that's Stax's grandfather, champion Lucky Luciano. Lucky actually goes back to some of our blood with our boy Killinois Kennels Debo. So that was another plus to add in that blood to our yard. This right here is Mr. Bean's father, Muscle Tone Bullies Mr. Magoo, one of the most famous American bullies ever. This dog was sold out to China for $750,000 and is one of Dax's best sons. This boy throws it down, produces very well, and again, we're glad to have this blood in our yard. And this right here is Stax's mother, our girl, Killinoy Kennels, Stella. Real badass female, real nice producing bitch. You know, one of our favorite females we got on the yard over here at the Killinois camp. And you know, she threw it down with Stax's litter. Just look at Stax, look at our girl, baby girl. And just wait till you see some of the stuff we got coming up off of her. You know, not too long ago, we bred her to Grand Champion Rocco. And we got a couple pups hidden off of that litter. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And again, she comes off this boy right here, Champion Lucky Luciano, a real badass Dax son. And this girl, Kane Kennel Shaka Khan, a really heavy bred Dax female. So with all that being said, our boy Stax here is really, really heavy bred on the Gotti Lines Dax. RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and RIP to his creator, Ed Shepard. But that's it for the video of our boy Stax and breaking down his pedigree. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to the mother of the pups, our girl, Killinois Kennels Prada. This is our girl Prada here. She's another dog we produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. And again, she's the mother of the puppies that we have available. 
I'm going to go ahead and show you some footage of her. We're going to break down her pedigree. And this is the first litter that we've ever had with Prada. But so far, so good, man. Just wait till you guys see these pups. We just added Prada to the YouTube channel not too long ago. You know, we gave everybody a little heads up with a sneak peek picture. You know, people was going crazy. And then when we dropped that video of Prada, man, you know, a lot of you guys really liked Prada on this channel. In that video, we asked everybody, what Killinois Kennel stud did they think we was gonna put Prada to? And a lot of you guys got it right. We bred her to stacks, you know, on her first time out. And a big shout out to you guys that got it right. Just wait till you see these puppies. Prada here is put together really, really nice. She's got real big head, real big shoulders. She looks like a male. Here's a little back shot of Prada right there. Just look at the neck and the head and the shoulders on that female. She's super ripped up. She looks like a male for sure. I'd have to say Ninja and Juliet put it down on this litter. Just look at Prada, look at Chi Chi, and just wait till you see some of the dogs we haven't showed you off of this litter yet. We ain't even showed none of the males. Yesterday, we dropped a video of the Frisco and Elsa breeding, and a lot of you guys pointed out how much love we showed to the females. Well, that's how we get down over here at the Killinois camp. If you don't, you know, you can have the best studs in the world, but if you don't have nice females to put them to, you know, you're not going to do much. So we take a lot of pride in our females, and you know, I'll take a badass female over a male any day, you know, and Prada's one of those bitches. After you guys get done watching this video, if you want to see more footage of Stax or Prada, make sure you guys go check out their own individual videos. We got a lot more footage and a little bit better breakdown on the pedigrees in those videos as well. But that's it for the footage of Prada. Now we're going to go ahead and break down her pedigree a little bit and we're going to start with her father, our boy Killinois Kennels Fruit Ninja. This is Prada's father. He's a real badass boy, one of our main studs we got over here at the camp, and this boy's been throwing it down. Again, look at Prada and look at Chi Chi, and like I told you, we even, haven't even put up the males or some of the other females off of that litter. Whole litter turned out really, really nice. But now we're gonna break down Ninja's pedigree, and this right here is his father, a Midwest dog, out of Asian Squad Kennels, Asian Squad Joe Gotti, a real badass boy, this boy is a combination of several Midwest Kennels' bloods all put together in one dog, and he was a real badass boy, as you can see. Yo Gotti goes back to this badass boy right here, Pachuco Pitts Playboy, real badass Gunny Son, Razor's Edge Stud. Fruit Ninja goes back to some of our blood as well, goes back to this girl, Isha, a real badass Razor's Edge female and come out of one of our studs we have over here at the Killinois camp. Isha was super nice, and she had a brother that was the exact clone of our boy Enzo, Asian Squad's Q. This right here is Isha's father, our boy, ABKC champion, Killinois Kennels Enzo. Enzo was actually an ABKC Nationals winner. He was a real badass boy and another dog that we produced in-house here at the Killinois camp. This boy Enzo was one of my favorite Debo sons, and this boy threw it down every time he was being bred. Again, Enzo came out of some of our foundation stuff over here, out of our boy Killinois Kennels Debo, and our girl Killinois Kennels Cashmere. Ninja also goes back to this boy Motown Savage, a real famous dog out there on the west coast. And this right here is Ninja's mother, real badass female that goes back to some Midwest blood as well. She goes back to this boy Goochland Pit Success, a real badass boy, and they didn't call him success for nothing. Just look at all them trophies back there. I want to send a huge shout out to Larry from Goochland Pits. RIP to Larry from Goochland Pits. He was a Midwest legend out here. All the micro dogs you guys see today, you can thank this man right here for that. Success goes back to this boy, Goochlands Pits Gooch. This is one of Larry's foundation studs. Larry was out here killing it in the ABKC show ring back in the day with this boy Gooch. This boy Gooch is really heavy bred on the Gotti blood. 
and he goes back to this boy Gotti Lines Romeo as seen here. Romeo was the father to the world famous Gotti Lines Dax as seen here. Again, RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and RIP to his creator Ed Shepard. This boy had kids all over the world. I just recently judged a dog show in Brazil and in South Africa and seen plenty of his blood all over out there. This right here is Prada's mother, our girl, Killinoy Kennels, Juliet. She's a real badass female and she's an ABKC champion. She was produced in-house over here at the Killinois camp. She's a real badass female, and she's been producing her ass off for us. Just wait till you guys see some of these Napoleon and Juliet pups coming here soon. She goes back to the best of both worlds of the American Bully, with the Gotti Line blood and the Razor's Edge blood. She goes back to this boy right here, Iron Cast White Rhino, another super famous dog in the American Bully world from back in the day. This was one of the first dogs to go for a real huge amount of money. There were several different rumors back in the day on what this guy was sold for. You know, they were saying he went for a half a million dollars and a bunch of crazy stuff. But this dog was, you know, produced a long, long time ago. This is when Bullies wasn't going for crazy amounts of money like that. But I got a little clip of the guy that actually purchased White Rhino and what he paid. I want to send a huge shout out to Prez Potter of the Presidential Bully Mafia. Again, he's the guy that actually purchased White Rhino and he's about to explain on this video exactly what he paid for him. I went ahead and gave one of my properties to the current owner of White Rhino for the purchase of White Rhino. He turned around, lived in the house for six, seven months, sold it for about $260,000. White Rhino goes back to this boy, Gotti Lines 21 Blackjack, which is the father of Gotti Lines Romeo, which is the father of Gotti Lines Dax. Again, RIP to Gotti Lines Dax and RIP to Ed Shepard, his creator. Like I said earlier, Juliet comes from both sides of the American Bully with the Gotti Line and the Razor's Edge. This is Razor's Edge Dozer and Razor's Edge Daisy, a real famous Razor's Edge combination from back in the day. Juliet also goes back to this boy, Razor's Edge Hitman, AKA Gino, another foundation Razor's Edge stud from back in the day, real good producing dog and the father of Dominion's Excalibur that some of you may know. She also goes back to this boy, champion Razor's Edge Razzle Dazzle, one of my all-time favorite American bullies. This boy was the father of my foundation stud over here, Killinois Kennels Debo. Well, that's it for the breakdown of our breeding with our boy, Killinois Kennels Stacks and our girl, Killinois Kennels Prada. We hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and let's shoot for a thousand likes on this video. We almost got a thousand likes on Prada's video alone. So make sure you hit that like button and if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our videos. And after you guys get done watching this video, make sure you guys go check out some of our other videos. We got a lot of real nice American Bully content on this channel. I want to send a huge shout out to all of our subscribers and supporters. Everybody that shows love on the channel, hits that like button, comments, shares the videos, shares our channel with their friends, all that good stuff. We just blew past 19,000 subscribers and we couldn't have got there without your guys' help. I meant to do this yesterday, but I was moving a little too fast trying to get the video done. But I'm going to go ahead and leave, you know, the banners to some of the shows that I'll be judging coming up soon. And coming up September 21st in West Bend, Wisconsin, we got two BRC Global shows and a 25 class stack up or shut up fun show. I'll be out there judging that event. If you want to come out and get in on the show vlog, make sure you do so. It's going to be a real good time. And then coming up October 5th in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, we got the Super Bowl of dog shows coming that I'll be judging that event. It's going to be a real good time out there, man. The Nationals is like the Super Bowl of the dog world. So you don't want to miss this event. And again, we'll be out there covering this event. We're going to do a real nice show vlog on it. If you guys want to come out, get in on the show vlog, make sure you do so. Again, it's going to be a real good time. 
And another show that I'm going to be judging coming up is October 19th in Muncie, Indiana. It's going to be a real good event. The last time they had this show, I judged it, and there was tons of dogs out there. It was a real good time. Again, we're going to be doing a show vlog on this event, so if anyone wants to come out and get in on the video, you can do so, or if you just want to come out and have a good time. Either way, you don't have to get on video if you want, but make sure you come up and introduce yourself for sure. Also, coming up in November, November 9th, we're going to have a West Coast National Show out there in, near Seattle. So I'll be judging that event as well. If you guys want to come out and get in on that show vlog, make sure you do so. We're going to give everybody a little bit better heads up on these shows. The banner hasn't even been made for the Seattle show. But as they come, we're going to be giving you guys a real good heads up. So make sure you stay tuned. If you have any questions, give me a call and I'll give you any information you need to get to these shows. We do still have some real nice high pick pups available off of the Vanilla Gorilla and Mia litter. If anyone's interested, get with us and we'll take care of you. The pups are ready to go. As soon as you purchase the pup, we'll work on getting it out to you or you can come pick it yourself up in person. However you want to do it. If you want to see these puppies, make sure you go back about a week back and we got a whole 15 minute video of footage of these pups. So make sure you go check that out. I want to shout out to everybody that picked up a pup off of this litter. You know, we had one pup go to Mexico to the Gonzalez family. We had another pup that is going out to the Caribbean. We'll be meeting Mickey in Chicago and he'll be flying home with that puppy this coming Saturday. Make sure you guys stay tuned to that video. And then shout out to Antonio and his family for picking up his mail off of that litter as well. If you watch this video all the way through, leave the words Killinois Kennels in the comment section. And can any of you guys guess how many pups we had off of this litter? Also guess some colors. What colors do you think we got off of this litter? Again, big shout out to everybody for the love and support. And we got a lot of real nice stuff coming to the channel. So make sure you guys stay tuned. And thanks for watching. We really, really appreciate it.